everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with another episode of FTB's Academy. Uh, dude, you ain't supposed to be out here. Like, that's a big no-no. A big no-no. Mmm. Hey, and by the way, I found a frog slug. I don't know what the heck is going on with that. It just kind of popped in my inventory, but okay, kill frogs, get legs, and can I can I do anything with you? I The key wouldn't work there. Ooh, cooked frog's legs. Golden frog's legs. Look at the saturation. Holy cow. Oh. Oh, oh, we could kill the crabs. We can kill the crabs and get a lot of food. Like, that's pretty good food. That's pretty good food. That's steak. Okay, didn't know. Now we know. All right, so anyways, out here just to grab a whole load of wool, because, you know, we got it, so why not? And uh, let's nom nom this one, just to say we did. Okay, now let's head down into the base and the storage system. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. All right, you can see I cleaned out in here pretty good. I still got to move this stuff, but I'm, I'm figuring out where the machines are going to go. And I finished setting up all of the drawers. Ta-da! Look at it. It's like I've always dreamed. It's like a library. Oh, man, it's so good. So here's kind of what we got going on. These are the two by twos, and down here, uh, it's hard to see, but there's my hopping bonsais on the top, and so I'm just letting them, you know, pour into the drawers, and so we got all of this stuff, right? And that's pretty good, so this is kind of natural stuff, this is kind of tech stuff, and, you know, crafting pieces, and this is food, and like natural flower kind of things. Uh, this is empty, that's only got that in it, that's empty, this is empty, that's empty. And then we've got mob drops and weird stuff. And then I've got nether stuff and overworld blocks. Uh, this one's empty. And then this side has kind of oddball, uh, like bricks and whatnot. This is all the ingots, uh, valuable stuff. And then this side is like weird stuff like clay and quartz and redstone that'll compact. And so, you know, I kind of marked them down and I think it looks amazing. Now, this thing here... So I left it open on the front because I love coming up just like this and being able to punch things and have all my stuff go in there. I think that's great. So I did that. We've got a uh, storage right here and I made a cover for it so I can kind of hide my cables because like, is it this one? Is it? I, I don't even remember. Hold on. We got to we got to bounce around stone, 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 stone. Somewhere, somewhere in here, one of you, oh no, I ran it up on the other side. One of you, ah, I can't even find it anymore, is a cover. They're that good. So, uh, let's see. On list of things to do is play with the storage system some more. <laughs> uh, so, I want to come in here. We did complete a quest. Actually, we completed a lot of these, but they didn't check off. So, I did check them off, and hey, we got more cables. We are going to need a lot more. But to finish this up is a fluid grid. And a disc, a fluid disc. Valid items, so I can make a little tiny one, right? Like, that doesn't really make much difference. So we can make, uh, we can make, like, it's not a 4K. It's, uh, let's do fluid. Yeah, we can make, yeah, 64K, which is, like, stupidly simple, right? So I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to need, let's make, like, two of these buckets, because I'm going to need one in a second. So let's see, you, uh, we'll make you. Hopefully I got the glass for it, <laughs> hopefully, and you, okay, and so I could stick this in here, right, and then I can store fluids, and I guess I'll put that in there for right now. Uh, it doesn't really hurt me, but I'm not really storing a lot of fluids right now, and I'll throw those in there, and so that was that quest, and what did you give me? You gave me a 256, right? That's kind of what I expected. I'll throw you in there, but usually I like to separate these guys and then filter them. Uh, so we got that one, and then the only thing left... Right? The only thing left here is to make a fluid grid, and that that should be easy. So if we go uh, grid like this, there is crafting grid, pattern grid, which we do need now that I think about it, and fluid grid, boom, done, right? There's fluid grid. Uh, fluid grid, I don't really care about you. You can uh, go up top, right? But this other one, now that I've seen it, pattern grid, yeah, dude, we need... We needs the patterns, right? Because I am going to do some auto crafting soon. And so a pattern grid is a regular grid, which is like this, except for I don't have the glass, right? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to make one of those. Okay. And then let's see if we got the glass. Hold on. Let's see. Pattern grid. Uh, I guess I'm making a regular grid, so it couldn't matter. Is glass? Uh, no, hardened glass. Nope. Ah, it's always glass. Why is it always glass? Probably because I didn't make any. Uh, here's some glass. Okay. 
So we'll get this glass. We're going to have to go back and forth a couple of times, but whatever. Now, this is actually black glass that I use for other things. So let's get that out of there. All right. And we got grid. And then we'll come back right to fluid. Is this one not set? It's JEI synchronized auto select. Yeah, 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 that's what I wanted. And we'll get the fluid. Is it fluid grid? Is that what I'm doing? No, I'm getting the pattern. Man, I almost made a mistake. I went back in time. Pattern grid. Yeah, there we go. And so when we do other things, now we can do this. Okay, now I can make patterns for auto crafting later. Like that's much later. That's an advancement, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't one of these, right? So I am refined storage beginner 95%. Oh, right there. I need to make, oh, okay. I tried to finish this one. I tried to finish this one because we made an importer last time. So I made an exporter, but it didn't recognize. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. We completed a chapter and we get a stack upgrade. Oh man, I'm going to need like a million of those. And refined storage advanced. Oh, oh, and I get 16 patterns. And then crafters and other stuff. Okay, all right, good. I was getting ahead, but we are gonna need that. All right, so what I want to do today is, you know, well, there's more chapters here, right? We can do all of these kind of simultaneously. So I wanna go into Batania right here. Let's make the uh, Lexica Batania, which uh, I think, I think we can do that. Hold on. Let's make the uh, Lexica right there, the Batania. So I'm gonna need to make a book. And of course, I don't have the sugar cane for the paper. Do I? Oh, I do. I do. All right, we'll make, uh, excuse me, I said we'll make one book, right? And I got a sapling. And there we go, Lexica Batania. And you always got to open it. And you always got to go like that, that, that. And then you can come down here, back, shift click for the index. Now I'm there. Okay, so we got that. And we get floral fertilizer, which is going to be important and the bird bath, the apothecary. So what we need is we need, um, I don't know, we need flowers. I don't know what they're called. Uh, <laughs> blow Tanya. <laughs> they're all called, oh, they're all called flowers. So while I was out in the world, I picked up a bunch and immediately you're going to need the white ones, right? You're going to need these and they make two a piece. Uh, so let's do four all together. One, two, three, four. Right? Yeah, four and four. Okay, so I'm gonna need the white ones and I'm gonna need some seeds. And, oh, we gotta get water down here. We don't have water. Okay, all right, no problem. Let's get a, let's get a couple of buckets. I wanna have some buckets in the system anyways. So let's go get a couple of these. Let's grab some water. We'll go make the other thing. Uh, excuse me. There we go. I mean, it's not like we don't have water right available. Boop and boop, there we go. Nice. Okay, we got to make a pool down here. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to do stuff for Batania kind of over in this section. Right? So why don't we uh, why don't we cram in, like, right about here, maybe. Right? Why don't we make a uh, infinite water source there? Right? And then I can throw these buckets in the system that I have a couple for crafting. All right. And then, oop. Uh, nope, not that way. Hold on. <laughs> I'm still finding my way around. I'm hoping Batania will allow me to get, uh, uh, you know, step, uh, what is it? Step assist? Yeah, that's what it's called. All right, get those guys in there. So first thing, we need the uh, pedal apothecary, right? Apotho, whatever, this thing right here, which requires some slabs, and I don't have a place for slabs. And one of those, apparently, apparently I had a green pedal, but you know what? I don't think that's all the green I had. Yeah, I need to do a thing here. So let's take uh, let's take one of these, right? And we'll use that. I don't want to use the only green one I had. So uh, Patho carry because I want to I want to dupe up that one. Yeah, not not green, red, right? And then we'll put that other one in there. And then what we've got to do as we use the storage system is we got to come around and let's see. Every time we use something and make a thing, uh, yep, slabs go in there. <laughs> so we're going to need to put all this stuff together. Uh, no, I think we've got it. I think we got it for the beginning. We'll have to go back and forth, but I love the bounce. I love it. It gives me a chance to use my slime boots. So let's see. We're going to put the apothecary. Oh, man, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Do we have a bucket in the backpack? Do I? Yeah, I got a regular bucket. I, I prefer to work with the regular buckets over the reservoirs. They seem easier to me. Uh, so let's get some of this garbage out. Let's get this garbage in. 
and we can go one, two, three, four, and then a seed, right? And then I'm gonna do that again, right? One, two, three, four, and a seed, and I got my two flowers that I want. Now, what you could do instead is you could take this floral fertilizer and you can go like that and it's gonna start giving you the flowers. Right, that's why they gave you 16, so you didn't have to uh, you didn't have to find them. Like, there's the white one right there, and I probably could use this to find the green one. Right, uh, and as I say it, there's the green ones. All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's get that stuff. This is this is the beginning of the process, and so I'm gonna need I need dirt, I need a wand, we need stone. We need lots of things. Uh, first, let's drop off whatever has a storage location. And, oh, that's not bad. Let's, uh, let's come down here. This is the only thing I don't like about the drawers is, man, it is tight in here. I probably would have put them a couple of spaces apart if I did this next time. So let's see. And light green. And uh, you can go there. And you can go there. And, you know, this floral fertilizer, it can get itself a thing up there. Am I empty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Very cool. Let's, I love this system. I love it so much. Okay. So we need a couple of things. We're going to need dirt. We're going to need, I want to get a, a wand. I want to get a diamond wand. I want to get, uh, let's see, we need stone, maybe two stacks, and I'm going to need some wood, right? Something like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so, oh, and I need a stake from jumping around like a crazy person. There's still mobs in here, by the way. We're still going to have to watch out for creepers and whatnot. Just, to, you know, it makes it a little bit more fun. I don't remember a hole in the ceiling. Anyways, uh, let's take our drill and let's drill out a couple of spaces. Oop, a little too much there on the drilly drill. This is the thing's too fast, right? It's just too good. And then right there. Okay. And then we can fill this all in with dirt. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I had to use any of this stuff, right? Take that. And then I can go uh, and uh, 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 right there. Oh, and we got to keep it lit because we're going to have problems with mobs. All right. So the first thing is we got to make some supplies for the mod. So we're going to put down the pure daisies. Oh, and you know what? This is what I meant to do. Ah, this is what I meant to do. I meant to do this stuff here. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's fix this like I'm supposed to have done. I was going to do this. I was, I only needed two blocks because it, let's be smart about things, right? And this drill is so good. It's disgustingly good. Right, so let's do this. Uh, you, sir, come on out. Let's do those, and let's see. Stone, you can go in there. Torch, torch, and then we'll do regular stone, right? All the way around. Yeah, that's what I meant to do right there. And I don't remember that either, but we'll fill it in. So now what we can do, the reason I did this is so we can take this diamond wand and go, boop, and ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. It's going to be a problem right here, but not if, not if right now, if I block it off with cobblestone. Oh, like it's meant to be, right? Because then the wand will only read those. Yeah, that's good. Excuse me? I said, excuse me? <laughs> Let's just make sure, because this is a real easy way to automate it. Now, we could automate it with refined storage, too, right? We could put a uh, constructor and a destructor around one of these, and maybe we will. I don't know. All right, and there is the end of the uh, trans whatever process that this stuff goes through. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get all of this stuff, and then we'll tell the wand to go ahead and do some more, right? And we'll take the uh, beginning supplies. It's nowhere near enough, but we can uh, check. The, well, let's check the quest book here because we're cruising right along, right? We made that. Oh, we got the cacophonium. That's the, uh, that's the thing. It can make sounds, right? There's a block that holds this. I don't remember what it's called, but you can record sounds with this and set it under somebody's base. It's awesome. <laughs> Not that I've done that before. Uh, oh, good. We get living rock and living wood by doing the pure daisy. And we need to make a wand, which is where we're going with this right here. I need six of these guys to make three of those. And let's go get some flowers here. So flower. Uh, I feel like being bright red. I think that'll work. So right there, two of those, and we'll come across, clear those out. Boopity boopity boop, right? You can put any colors you want in here, but yeah, let's be, let's be red guy, right? Right there. Okay. We got our red wand. We completed that one. 
And we get Tiny Potato. Oh, Tiny Potato, I love you so much. Tiny Potato, who's a bro? And Tiny Potato, guess what? Uh, you can have some food. Oh, I love Tiny Potato, you're so nice. Oh no, no steak on your face. No, no, you got so much steak on your face. Hold on, there we go, I got it. I got back our Tiny Potato steak. Does it stack? Yes, it does. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that stuff. Okay, now I'm completely lost. Hold on, where are we going? We're going over here. Make a jacuzzi. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Don't we have, uh, don't we have? Didn't we get, did we get, uh, living rock? Did it just go in the system? Yes, it did. Okay, bad system. Right, so... A pool is one of those. And then I saw that right over here, uh, make a jacuzzi, oh, and a mana spreader, and a spreader. Okay, so uh, spreader, we're gonna need, uh, let's go back to flowers, right? Let's go back to flowers. We're gonna need a bunch of leaves. So let's just take, I got a bunch of white, so let's just use those. So spreader right here, right? I'm gonna take this green one out, because I'm telling you, I just gotta dupe it. And, uh, well, with what I've got, I can make two, and that's, well, we could make three, and that's cool with me right there. Yeah, we got three mana spreaders. Okay, I like it, because I got plans. Twelve black lotus, man, and I already got one, too. And this is what I'm going after right here, is these endo flames. That's where I'm headed towards. So, let's get the flowers, and let's see. I don't have, I've got light gray, and I've got red but I don't have brown. Oh, so we're gonna need the uh, uh, the fertilizer, right? I've gotta go through a bunch of these to try to get a brown one. And then I got shears on me, we're gonna need a uh, bone meal. And I got a ton because I found uh, I found a skeleton in the nether. And those are, you know, blocks of, blocks of bone. So let's see, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a brown one. Let's see if we get it, right? Is RNG on my side? It never, ever is, but, you know, we've only got so much of the stuff. I mean, we can make more. Ah, we got a brown one. We got a brown one. All right, so we'll take this brown one. We're going to dupe it into that. Let's get our shears out of our bag, because I made, yeah, I made these shears. Am I completely full? Yeah. Uh, let's make space. We'll put that back in there. Uh, yeah, 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 we got space. Okay, so then I can put down those guys. There's the green one. It's always in the way. And we'll bone meal, right? And then we will shear them. Where's the shears? There's the shears, right? And that'll give me two of the tall, wherever they went. And then I'll turn them into four of those, or I guess eight of these. And I'm going to dupe, dupe, dupe. All right, so we should be about set now. I'm just uh, getting the last sets of these. I don't think I need a lot more, but we can make more. I'm going to hang this on the wall. Uh, it's the letter P. And we'll put that on any surface. And then let's come over here and let's make our generation flowers, our power generating. So I need to get an endo flame and an endo flame, uh, not an end E, an endo flame right here is two brown, a red, and a light gray in one of these. So I'll go two brown, a red, and a light gray uh, right there. And it tells me with one seed, I'm gonna get an endo flame. Boom, just like that. And then I can put a bucket of water in it and I can bare hand punch it, and then all I've got to do is throw in another seed. So we could do something like this over and over again. Boom, and boom, and I'm going to go get just a couple of these. Okay, so a little bit of punching of that thing, and I made a reasonable amount of endo flames, uh, 18. Because <laughs> if we're going to do it, we might as well do it, right? Let's go, uh, let's go full speed. So I'm going to drop off some of the things we don't need. Now, what we are going to need is we're going to need some way to dispense things. And I want to go with precision dropping. This is going to be the thing that I want right here. Uh, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if I've got all of these parts, but precision dropper... Yes. Oh, am I really going to be short? Just really? I was so close to, I was so close to being good, but you know what? Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. All right. So let's get uh, pressure plates and we'll make them, uh, we'll make uh, dark oak maybe. Do I have dark oak? Yeah, whatever. Right. We'll make two of those like that. I'm going to need the uh, redstone torch maybe just in case. And I'm going to need something to burn, right? Which will probably be 
Uh, I've got some coal. Yeah, that'll work, right? I don't need, I don't need that anymore. All right, let's, uh, let's go over and I'll show you my process. Now, the thing to remember is you always, always, always want to set down the mana spreader first, uh, just because it automatically hooks flowers into it. So right there and, uh, boop, 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 right there. That's just the way I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to take these endo flames. Apparently I missed the flower and I'm going to set up some two, uh, three by threes. This is just me. You could go with one or two, right? You can go with how many ever you want, but now you got to feed these guys. And for the, the simplest system for me is, uh, taking these automatic precision droppers, facing them up. And I kind of just put them on the outside here. Just, uh, I guess I could put them on the inside. Uh, they share a lane. I still could. Right. And then we put a pressure plate over the top of them. Right, and we do one of these. Let me just take, I'm just gonna put a piece of coal. Oh, hold the phone. We've got to do some things here. Magnet's gonna be a huge problem for the moment. We'll have to make a flower to uh, to deal with that. But then I should do something like that and it's gonna spit up the thing and then it'll sit on top of that pressure plate turning off the dispenser until these guys eat it up. Just that easy, right? So if you've got actually additions in the pack, this is the dead simplest way to distribute. Now let's uh, let's get this stuff in there. And I did see that up here, I got cold coke, which, okay, whatever, right? That burns longer in one of these. Blocks would burn longer too. So what we should have, if I get out my wand and I look at all of these, you see that check mark? That means it's, it's bound to this thing. Now this guy, I need to shift right click and I got to bind to this pool. And there we go. We've got mana generation going on. Now I bet you it's going to tell me to come over here and to make a runic altar. Yeah, it is. Okay. We need a diamond and not to fall in the water. We need a diamond. We'll make a runic altar and then we're going to make some runes, I think. Uh, so runic. Uh, that's not it. Derp. I need a uh, diamante. Let's uh, let's just take a couple with us. I'm not going to change over all of those, but I do want to put some in the uh, I do want to put some in the storage system and I want to look at the runes here. So let's see. We'll we'll change over. Uh, I guess I don't. OK, I guess we're going to change over two. Right. We need to let that stuff work for a minute and I might just let it do that. So I'm going to get runic altar. I guess I'll do it over here. Right, and we can get rune, come on, spelling, runic altar. And this is why I made the third spreader, by the way, is so I could get this guy and let me put this diamante. I assume there's, I assume there's blocks of these. Uh, let's see, uses on it. Yeah, 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 there's blocks of these. So you would go in, a, in an aisle. Uh, you're kind of weird stuff over here. So what's that? Oh, no, nope, those are regular diamonds. Ah. Uh, I'll have to fix that. Uh, we'll put you, no, you know what? I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So we're going to fix it right now and then we'll put you in there. Yep. And then all I got to do is push this button twice and that should relock the drawer, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Now we got this set. Now we got it set. Let's get this right, right here. Uh, we're going to get a vivid pasture seed, which could make grass. But this is what I'm going after right here. A sojourner's sash. So we got to make a couple of things. So I'm going to gather these things up and let the uh, mana charge up. All right. So I've gathered up some of the supplies that I think we need. And, you know, we don't have a ton of mana. But, you know, they gave us all of these black lotuses. And each one will give us more mana. So, right, there they go. They're not a lot, but it's something. So then what I want to do here is I'm going to take, uh, let's see which side we'll go. We'll go this side. I'm going to take that and put that on the pool and I'm going to take my runic altar and I guess I'll put it right there and we're going to go from the spreader to the altar. Right. And so this is just transmission of power. So things I want to get very first thing. I want that sash and right to get the sash. We're going to have to make two rooms. So I'm going to need mana powder, uh, stone, coal and mushrooms. Okay. So let's just do one here, right? We're going to need these things because that's how you make those that this, and then stone coal. And let's get that out of there. A mushroom. So boop, boop, boop. And then it automatically starts going. And then you're going to need this living rock. 
and you throw the living rock on top, and then whenever you can see that little rune symbol, right, whenever that's full, then it's going to make, uh, it'll make a noise, right? Lightning comes from it. I right-click it. There we go. I got two of those runes. Now, let's make another rune right here. So carpet, feather, and string. And the reason I say it like that is because they all have one of these in them, right? So I really only need to remember three ingredients. So let's see. It's going to be a uh, feather, carpet, and string, right? Boom. And let's get our, uh, let's get this thing on there, right? Uh, no, right there. You got to click it on. And let's see, we are almost all the way around. Where's my thing? And then we'll go and make the, uh, we'll make the sash, right? Oh, I got to put the rock back on there. I picked it up, right? Okay. And I got two of those. Thank you. And we'll run over here. And oh, this is so good. I know we got the leather because I picked up like a ridiculous amount of stacks of it. And we'll get that. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 I'm in the wrong. I was over there. I need to be over here. I was in the wrong one. I got scared there for a second. Okay, so you go uh, You go up here, and this should allow me to be able to go up and down stairs uh, with auto step, except for I don't have any magic. I don't have any mana stored up. And so what we need to do is I need to go and get, right, another diamond, and let's go make a, uh, let's go make a mana tablet to begin with. A mana tablet's those things. And then let's turn a mana tablet into a ring. And for that, I'm going to need uh, four of those dudes, right? And where's the ring? Ring, 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 ring. Man, I really can't see this stuff. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. There we go. We'll get the ring. Let's check the mode of the pool. You see it's going from tablet to pool. And so I need it to go the other way, just like that. And I'll throw it in. I'm going to give it just a little bit of mana, just like that. It's barely registering. But that'll be enough that I can now walk up and down blocks without having to uh, to do anything. It's step assist. I love it. I love it so much. Now, we do have to make one more really important thing. Oh, and it gives you a better jump, too. we got to make one more thing that's super important to me. It's called the Pyroclast Pendant. And so for this, I need to make a Rune of Fire. And that's Nether Brick, Gunpowder, and Nether Wart. And this only takes a second, but it's so worth it. I mean, there's a couple more things that are really worth it, too. But uh, let's get this. Let's get you, and let's get that, and let's get this. All right? Get that dude on there. Got my wand. And then what else do I need? I need a couple of string for that. All right? I need these four, actually, turned over. All right? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And boom, we got those. Those are the runes of fire. All right? And for this, pyroclast pendant. Oh, what am I missing? A rune of summer. Oh, that's right. Oh, and I need two sand. Okay, got most things around there. So this one needs two sand, a slime ball, a watermelon, and then it takes the two leftover runes, earth and air that we had. Right, right there. And now it's going to do its thing. So let's go get this. So this is pyro class pendant. Right, I'm going to need the summer. I've got the fire. We, are, we just made that. Four of these, and I need one ingot, right? And I probably should make more ingots because we could use the armor from this mod for a little while, right? Like, uh, let's see. Let's see how many we've got. Oh, okay. We're using the, uh, we're using the armor. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. And then where's the, uh, where's the thing? Right there. Got all of my runes. And then we can make pyroclast pendant right there. So this helps out so much in the nether. Uh, let's see, you can go there, and that goes there, and so I don't catch on fire anymore. Oh, I love it. Now, I guess we could do the last thing here, right? The armor I've got right now is garbage. I just wanted to play with it. It's obsidian armor, and man, is it terrible. But, you know, this mana steel armor is actually not bad, and I'm going to keep my, uh, I'm going to keep my boots on, because I like my slime boots, and we'll get this stuff on. It gives me more armor bars, but it also uses the mana to repair itself, so I don't have to really sweat about that holy cow oh man we can jump so high now and you know i don't catch on fire i got better armor and we're magical i love it so much so i think i'm going to call it here for today we're certainly not done with batania there's so much more we need to get but i want to take time to uh make some more coal or charcoal or something and get a lot more mana so I'm 47 Mark IV, and this is FTB's Academy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, please hit that like button, and then I will see you in the next episode.